Now with these temperatures, you're going to be dancing in the street. Oh. Segway. Segway to the ballroom, the happiest place on earth last night as Dancing with the Stars celebrated all things Disney. Take a look. Tens across the board, and wow. that's the former Disney kid Jordan Fisher hey, and his and partner, too. Lindsay Arnold. So the first perfect score of the season with a foxtrot to You're Welcome from Moana. Do you guys know this track? No, I don't. Moana is one of the newer movies. I've yes, I've seen it. I just house. can't remember the track. Okay, here's the feedback. Undeniable perfection. So they are ones to beat. If it's on talent alone, it's going to Jordan. But it isn't just talent, it's votes and fan favorites. So that was Frankie Nunes that we just saw. And this is Victoria Arlen, who will certainly play in that she has an incredible, incredibly emotional story. Um, so they kicked it old school with a 1920s inspired jazz routine to steamboat Willie. And this is Drew and Emma. Drew struggled a little bit. And, you know, his, it's his facility, Leah. Um, and that's a dancing term, you know, his, his natural sort of gait and build uh, is long he's and tall lean, and lanky, so right? He's got yeah. a lot of limbs to control there. Um, here's Lindsay and Mark. Mark is an absolute pro. And Lindsay, you know, I think that Lindsay could be within the top five, I would guess. Um, they were accompanied by Mickey Mouse on the piano for their Foxtrot, When You Wish Upon a Star. Classic. And here is Nick Lachey. Okay, so, you know, we've got kind of a clear division now as uh, in terms of, I think, the top and, and the middle and the bottom. Uh, you know, the bottom competitors are primarily gone, and now it will be very competitive in the upper 20 scores. Um, but, you know, these... So <laughs> You're so serious about We're it. I love out, it. Me and myself. <laughs> I just, We're like, huh? I'm just going to run a monologue about Dancing <laughs> with the Stars. But it is, I mean, I, I'm really impressed by how, you know, these performers, these actors, or these personalities who may not come from a dance background are able to execute these routines on a weekly basis. It's astonishing to me. I mean, I'm not the most coordinated person, but when I see those moves with people that do not have a dance background, I find it astonishing that they can actually like pull it Jordan, off. Jordan, you'd expect it because yes. he comes from Broadway and he was a Disney kid. He I, yes. I am not shocked. I mean, eight hours a day, you hear that some of these contestants, they're eight hours a day, they get home, they can barely walk because they've been dancing every day, nonstop. True. And uh, in fact, a lot of them say, oh, I dropped 20 pounds on Dancing with the Stars because it's that sure. intense. It's Never a boot camp, moving. right? Yeah. So, but I'm always shocked that like they have real jobs. I know that the, the uh, Scott brothers, uh, the, uh, what are they called? The, the property, property brothers. Property brothers. They're yeah. like all weekend in Arizona <laughs> at the uh, home show. Like ah. for Friday, Saturdays, they have their day jobs. A lot of these people are still working <laughs> yeah. in between this. Stuff. Things to look forward to next week. Shania Twain will be on the show. Oh, wow. Performing new music in two weeks is Halloween night. So, oh, Monday night, Dancing with the Stars. Full reviews on Tuesday.